Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, last week I did a boring video. Uh, it's actually a video on setting up a boring head in my mill and enlarging the hole on a pulley. And in that video I used something my viewers have named uh, a chisel brooch. You know, uh, a brooch is what you cut a keyway with in a pulley and most of the time you have to press them through in some kind of arbor press or hydraulic press. And uh, this is not the easiest method to make a keyway, but if you just make an occasional keyway, it's a very economical way and feasible way to make a keyway. So uh, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make a chisel brooch and uh, let me show you what I've come up with so far. This is the one I used in my last video. It worked good. It was uh, basically my first attempt and I've used it several times before. Uh, I made it with a half inch shank here and that collar holds it in there. But the problem with this, I had to mill that off right there because there was an interference with the edge of the pulley. See that interference? If that was round it would limit how, how deep I could go with the keyway. So I redesigned it with a 3 8 uh, piece of 3 8 rod and there's no interference now. So that's what we're going to make today. Okay, here's our starting point. You start out with a 3 8 rod, three and a half inches long, and make a mark at two inches. Okay, the next step is to set it in your vise at an angle. And to do that, if the rod is three and a half inches long, this is what I've determined to be the right angle. Put a 10,000 feeler gauge under the one end. Make it so it's just setting on that 10,000 feeler gauge here and flush with your vise here. And it's not extremely critical. If it was, I wouldn't be doing it like this. I think that's pretty good. Okay, I've got my end mill centered on the 3 8 So we're all set up this direction. On that mark we made, you want to set a stop so the edge of the mill is on that mark. Okay, now we're going to start milling up to that mark a little at a time. These little mills are easy to break. This is the last one I have. Hopefully I won't break it. It's a little bit dull too. Okay, I'm just now touching the end of the stock right there. And I'm going to reset my DRO to zero. Now I want to go 120 thousandths deeper. A little at a time. Okay, this is the final pass. 120 thousandths deep. And it's not real critical. None of this is real critical. Okay, I made it out of this 3 16 square high-speed steel that's two and a half inches long. Two and a half inches long seems to be a common length and that's what it needs to be to work right with this brooch. 
Now the angle on this end that I'm going to grind is just a, a bevel, but I use the factory angle. In other words, these come with a little bit of an angle on there. I just kind of dressed it up and sharpened it. But I'm going to try increasing that angle a little bit. It was uh, about 70, and I'm going to make it 65. And just see what that does. I think it'll work better. It's kind of a trade-off. If you make too much of an angle, it'll try to pull into the work and take too big a bite. If you don't make it enough of an angle, it'll just slide and not cut. So, we're going to try 65 on that. Okay, the way this works, push it in there until it tops out in the groove. Make sure it's seated fairly good. Put a 3 8 locking collar on there. Guess what? I went through with the mill right there. There's a little burr right here. The mill just barely went through there. I went uh, 120 thousandths right there. Let's make that a hundred thousand. Put that in there like that. Bottom it out in the groove. Put your lock collar on there. Now you can move it up here. It's better to have it down here if you don't need the depth. So that's a good spot right there. See where I came through right there? Just very slightly. You want to avoid that. So, make it a hundred thousands deep there. Let's give this a try. Okay, this is steel. And most pulleys are made out of uh, cast iron or aluminum. And steel is more difficult, uh, definitely doable, just more, more difficult. You got to go a little slower. And oil is a good idea, not so much on the, for the cutting edge, but for the side clearance on that tool. And you just need to go about maximum one thousandths at a time. Okay, that more blunt angle worked really well. The sharper angle pulled the work into the chisel uh, or probably flexed this tool a little bit. But blunt definitely works better. So let's see what that angle is. I believe it's... Yeah, it's back to the factory angle. Increasing the angle on that is a bad idea. Now if I measure this, a little differently. It's 15 degree angle on the end right there. Uh, that's measured from horizontal 15 degrees like that. Anyway, uh, I'll put a drawing underneath the uh, video so if you want to make one eliminate some of the trial and error. And uh, thanks for joining me, and be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.